Hey, what's going on, guys? Silver Cage Dog is here again. Now, something very, very, very interesting popped up in my YouTube new um, subscription feed on the Pokemon channel. Well, the official Pokemon channel for for the uh, USA version of Pokemon. Um, this popped up. Well, I didn't encounter it from my subscription feed. I actually encountered uh, this right here, Pokemon Origins Episode One Red. And I was like, okay, cool. So they're gonna be releasing it in uh, in order of like parts one through four on their channel. Okay, that's cool. But I wonder why. I never found out why. And then when I get to Facebook earlier this morning, a friend of my, a very good friend of mine, actually. Sorry about that. <laughs> A very good friend of mine actually po actually posted actually shared something to me actually tagged me in it say and it, and it linked me to this poke which is labeled Pokemon generations trailer and when I looked at the thumbnail for the foot for the video on Facebook it showed it showed a blastoise in the style from Pokemon origins and I'm like are we getting into a continuation of Pokemon origins cuz origins okay Pokemon Origins, I love, I love, 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 love Pokemon Origins. It's one of my favorite, it's honestly, out of all the anime adaptations, like, out of the original Pokemon anime, for, or in Pokemon Chronicles, etc, etc, well, spin-offs also as well, Pokemon Origins has become my favorite, and, oh my god, <laughs> funny enough, it actually inspired me to, like, when I got the 3DS version of Pokemon Red for my 3DS, and it's wanted me to actually try and complete the entire Pokedex. I haven't done that yet. I'm close, but I'm not there yet. But moving on, aside from that, aside from that, um, Pokemon Generations. So this popped up. I've not seen anything of the sort. What we're gonna do? We're gonna be doing a live reaction, and my first and my first ever time doing an analysis since it's only a minute long. So we're gonna get into this right now. I've not seen anything. Of Let's just get into let's just roll into it right now. Every Whoa. generation. Whoa. Has a story to tell. What? To explore. <laughs> Is that some card? To what? Heroes to emerge. Red. Legends to be forged. We're going in. All Is that look at now. Whoa, untold what stories. Wait, what? What? This is the greatest <laughs> battle. What? Who's this is trying to get it? Oh, blue. Wait, it what? So. The epic world. Yes. Wait. You can clear all eyes. What? Oh my god. <laughs> that was so much. That was so. So it was fast to take. So you're finally here. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> okay, so basically they're from what I've heard, they're so the voice actor, I forgot his name, uh, who did blue in the original in Pokemon Origins in the dub, it seems like he it seems like he reprises his role in the game in uh in this. It seems like he he comes back. At least I think, because they both sound the same. But let's do an analysis real quick, because this, um, this, like, so many things were just... Okay, so we're in a What game had a hole in it? I don't... I don't remember. What? I don't remember which game had a big hole in it. I'll probably figure this out when editing, but, um... Every generation... And it leads to this, a tower of sorts. Uh. Oh, wait. This is, uh, um. What's the name of that tower in black and white? Um. It's a dragon tower. You get Dredigan in it. I forgot the name, but it's in black and white. I forgot the name. I think it's that tower. Has a story to tell. Okay, and it also explores. So it also explores Gen 2 at. As we get a close scene of Raiko, and then the three dogs. Well, and then yeah. Um, so it does explore Gen two, and then when I th when I looked at this, I thought it was also going to explore like 
more characters like maybe gold, ruby, etc. within the story. To explore. But when I took a closer look at this, when I found out about Zagard, I noticed that red is in the picture. So it's possible. So is it possible that this is a this is basically a continuation, an actual continuation of Origins, like what I guessed before, an actual, an actual legit Pokemon Origins continuation, because with Red being shown in here, and from what I've been seeing, from I've been seeing, there's no showing of Gold or Ruby or anyone. I'd like to see one thing. I'd like to see in this. Um, I'd like to see, like the ver like the. Just the match of gold versus red from uh, gold, silver, crystal. You guys know what I'm talking about. I want that to be a thing. Please, I hope that's a thing in this in Pokemon Generation. <laughs> Please. <laughs> so, red is confirmed to... So basically, red's actually exploring more outside of Kanto. Of course, as we already know, because of Johto and then... I guess, I don't know if you consider the Pokemon World Tournament in Black 2, White 2 considered canon, because Red does appear in that. I don't know if that's considered canon or not, but I'll leave you guys up to that. So he encounters the guard in his perfect form. His full 100%. And oh my god. Enemies to challenge. Here it is. Okay, and we see Giovanni in the, in the, in the black cloak, in the black cloak, black coat, black cloak, black coat, sorry, as he appeared in Pokemon Gold, Silver, Crystal, Heart, Gold, Soul, Silver. So we see this. Okay. So it does uh, showcase. So it does showcase portions of Gen Two, and I'm hope. Send. Okay. Heroes to emerge. Now we see Red picking up a Pokeball, and it is the same Pokemon Origins Red because, because for one thing, like there's a main difference that I noticed between the Red in the video games and the Red in this, is because Red's vest does not have the. Uh, have a little bit of black up here around the shoulders, but the origins red does. So we got legends to be forged, We're and we have Looker in this. Looker's back. Going in. All teams go now. But now I'm curious. What is this? What exactly? What exactly had a workforce with Pokemon like Machamp and Arcanine? What exactly was this event? I don't know what this event was. Discover the untold stories. Okay, and now this scene, it shows Red with with his Pikachu, or Pika if you want to go by the manga, in a mining cart with uh escaping from a Noivern. Okay, so what exactly is going on here? Like where is he? Witness the greatest where battles. Is, where exactly is he? And now we have the uh and now we have um I forgot the name of the lake. It's, uh, um, I know her, it's Gen 2. But yeah, you get the, you get the Gyarados in this. It was, uh, um, uh, hang on. It was, uh, Lake of Rage. It was Lake of Rage. Okay. It was Lake of Rage. Okay, okay. <laughs> so we get to explore the Lake of Rage. Blue, who has his Blastoise, and he's fa and he's in the Pokemon League, facing off against Lance. And so what I'm assuming we're also going to see what's been seen in Blue's eyes, like his experience of of becoming cha of becoming champion of the Kanto League. So we get to see, like, basically before Red comes in. And experience the epic world. And now this scene. Claydol and a Heatran. Now, this makes me wonder. What other character, what other, what other Pokemon character had come to mind when, who has a Claydol and is encountering a Heatran? It took, this, uh, what's his name? It's Gen 4. Um... I know who he is. He has red hair. Treasure Hunter. Uh, Buck. Buck. His name is Buck. Okay. So basically, I'm guessing this is Buck and it's Claydol. We're going to see what Buck's appearance was like. What his experience was like. That's my assumption. 
Now we get to, and now we see Sh and I'm assuming Cheryl is is her name and a Chancy. I'm assuming this happens um, the time when she wants to. Um, there was a time I believe she said she wanted to explore the mansion. I think, I, if I recall correctly. But man, <laughs> that's that that haunter though. <laughs> Oh, he, the Pidgey just bought, just, mm, just got rid of that Bruno's Machamp. Oh my God. And now this scene, which goes to, you see Pika at the very bottom, at the bottom right there. Snow, at Snowpoint Temple, there's Regigigas. I'm assuming Red does explore, so yeah, Red does explore more. And oh my God. There's so much. There's already a whole lot to take in. I'll pro I might be doing a live reaction to each and every single episode. I might, but oh my god. <laughs> I'm so hyped for this. This is so cool. I love this. Oh, this is so cool. And now we have this at the very end. So you're finally here. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> so oh my god I gotta like that I'm liking that and favorite my my god this is so cool let's look at some comments let's look at some comments if there was an Arceus they need to lose a gold versus red match at the top of months for once and for all <gasps> please 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 okay this is so hype. Probably gonna be one of the best animes ever. Yeah, that's a bet. That's a bet. This is exactly what I wanted to fit in for years. I agree. I agree. Okay, so what is this? Monday, Korokuro. This week in Pokemon. Monday, Korokuro. Tuesday, more Korokuro plus Generations trailer. Wednesday, new Sunday trailer plus information. Thursday, Team Flare Arc 1 hour finale plus new anime trailer. Friday, Pokemon Generations episodes 1 and 2 plus Pokemon Go plus release. Okay. <laughs> this is so cool. Just make a Pokemon Adventures anime already. Please? But okay, I'm gonna stop this right here because like I feel like I'm, I'm uh, going on about this for too long. It's already been almost, already a little over 13 minutes. So I'm just gonna end this right here. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm very hyped for this. Oh my god. So thank you guys so much for watching and Hopefully, I may be able to do a live reaction to this for on each episode, maybe. So, thank you guys again. And, of course, as usual, I will see you guys in the next video. Jumata!